how to get jobs in high ticket closing slash remote closing Trey Childress edition. This is going to be an interview going over my buddy's Trey's experience. He's someone who's become my friend over the last kind of two years time. And it was originally introduced to me um, via my uh, buddy Alex, who brought him originally into CloseFi, which is a hiring platform for high ticket sales reps. Um, and then eventually he went on to get better and better opportunities through the platform and within his own network. And then eventually partnered up with the original person who got me and my buddy into online sales in the first place, Kid Jara, and now owns one of the Discord servers that is located inside of the free guide that I'm gonna have down here in the description. I've been plugging prior videos that you would be able to join, get access to that community and be able to from there learn more about what it is exactly it takes to be successful in high ticket sales and remote closing. And so with that being said, some things that I want to get out of the way, bear with me a little bit, I'm kind of a little sick right now. But um, with that being said, I've already gotten in, I've started plugging them inside of the free guide that I've made. It's been getting a lot of um, good praise from all you guys, as well as I've been able to collect a few testimonials from it already. Um, one of you guys even went with one of the mentorships that you said you were looking into, and I told you essentially to pull the trigger on, and you're already getting interviews and things of that nature, or landing gigs solely even just from the free, get, uh, the free offer alone. Um, and the free guide that is. So that's fantastic. If you're having success with it, please let me know so I can add more of those there. Um, with that being said, we're gonna get straight into the interview. Let's get it going. What's up everyone? My name is Josh and this is Trey here. I've known Trey for the better part of about a year and a half now. He originally got in contact with uh, my buddy and co-founder of Closify, Alex, and they were working on getting on different sales gigs. And then slowly but surely, Trey has worked his way up to higher and higher um, income potentials with getting higher and higher ticket gigs. He eventually ended up founding a community with our good buddy, Caden, who was actually the one who we originally got into online phone sales with, with buying that $10 Gumroad course, landing our first client in three days, and then ever since then, just running up the scoreboard. And so with that introduction out of the way, I'd love if Trey here could give his own introduction. Trey, I'd love if you could briefly, right off the bat, kind of introduce yourself and talk a little bit about yourself. And then we'd honestly love a brief synopsis going over kind of the entire timeline of when you originally got interested in sales and kind of everything as ex escalated from there. Yeah, dude, happy to do that, man. So <clears throat> I'm 21. I live in Tennessee. I'm I'm married. Um, I found my, my wife Lucky. pretty young, which I'm blessed to have done. But uh I graduated college last May. Obviously, I, I don't use my degree, but I did graduate college. And um, I got into sales roughly about two years ago. Um, about I had tried drop shipping, which I think that's kind of like a, a path for... Oh, it's standard issue. It's, it's standard, bro. I think we a bunch of us had all tried it. So I tried it. I lost money. And then I was engaged. I just got engaged at the time after losing my money. I was like, okay, I have to figure out a way that I'm going to be able to make some money and live the lifestyle that I don't want to live, you know, graduating college. And I knew that whenever I graduated, I wasn't going to be able to make a lot of money with a job that I was going to be getting. So I was getting married and I knew I wasn't probably going to make a lot of money when I graduated college. So I had to figure out something. So I got into sales. Um, and within four months of getting started, I had my first 10K month. I was actually selling like an e-com, um, an e-com coaching offer. I was with them for almost a year. And um, I had my first 10K month in four months that I did really well with them there. And just in terms of like the companies I've worked with in different industries. So I was with them for a while. I've done, I've worked with a couple of guys from Closeify. Um, Dre, I think Dre, I should name drop. Um, but That's all right. <laughs> Dre's a goat. I love Dre. Um, Instagram growth. I've done a little bit of solar. That was very, very brief. Um, but I just didn't have the time to make it work. I was like in college and I was in finals mm -hmm. week, bouncing two other offers. I just didn't have the time to learn everything. Um, I did some very little stock stuff. Um, and the majority of my sales experience comes from real estate coaching. Um, I was in that industry for a really long time and had a lot of success um, in the real estate coaching industry. Um, and then there was one more I'm trying to think of. If it comes to me, I'll let you know. But that's kind of the, the ballpark of the experience that I've had okay. um, in, the, in those different industries. And how did you specifically get into like high ticket sales? Like, what did that look like? Who were you kind of like watching at that time? I don't know how... Um soon you were on Twitter. And for those of who don't know, like a lot of people that we work with and a lot of our associates, they're all on Twitter, um, all posting about like different business models and stuff and more so rather than like NBA highlights and actually using it for like, you know, good purpose. So I came across a bunch of different guys on Twitter. I reached out mm -hmm. to a bunch of different guys 
and Caden and Alex, funny enough, are actually both of the guys that I came across. So initially I ended up paying Alex. I hit Alex up along with a lot of different people and Alex was super nice. And I was like, bro, can I like pay you for like a consultation or something? And he was like, yeah. So he hopped on a call. We had like a very brief, it was probably like 20 minutes. I remember very distinctly, I was having this call with him, but I was trying to be quiet because I just paid a hundred dollars. And that was a lot of money to me at the time. And my parents were like downstairs talking to me and I was having to like play it off. Like I wasn't like, I, I didn't want them to find out what I was doing. because I was afraid they'd be sketched out. So I had this call with Alex and <laughs> he ran through everything he was supposed to do. And he's like, do you have any questions? I was like, no, I'm good. And he was like, you're good. I was like, yeah. And then, so a couple months later, um, I'd hit Alex up after I had some experience and got into Closeify, but basically Alex was one of the first dudes who helped me actually get into sales along with Caden, ended up paying Caden for a mentorship. Um, and he kind of helped me obviously as well. He played a huge role in you know, the development of my sales skills as well. But mm. Alex was one of the first dudes who took the time to hop on the call and like help me and walk me through everything. Um, so that was, that was pretty cool. And then obviously we all met in Miami, you know, Correct. That was a great time. It was great a good day. time. A great day, always. And so, yeah, that's awesome. And um, for those who don't know and are going to learn very briefly, um, Trey actually works with Caden now on their um, coaching and consulting Discord, as well as their program that they have. And with that being said, how did that kind of get about? What was the turning point where you guys kind of looked at each other and like got a little starstruck and were like, let's make a business together? Dude, a hundred percent. So this story is so cool. I can, I distinctly remember when that, when that happened, but Caden and I, I, I had paid him and, you know, we had just talked, we talked all the time. He was like mm. such a great friend of mine. And we just really became like super close. And we started having these like conversations about potentially starting something. It'd gone back and forth, but just super brief stuff. And one day it was actually last July, we had like a three hour conversation, like a random Tuesday in the middle of the day where I just picked up the phone and called him. And I was like, yo, what do you think about this? And he's like, that's so sick. We should, we should, we should work together. We should do this together. And I was like, let's do it. And so that was from our free community on Discord. We also have like a, it's like a very low level entry level uh, Discord groups, like 48 bucks a month that we started, but it, we also have a free section as well. So basically that was kind of the birth of that. And then the inner circle came in December. But literally just from a random two hour phone call on a random Tuesday in the summer, you know, I'd pick up the phone and, and told him that we should start something. And that just is kind of how it was. We just rocked out ever since. Yeah, I know. And I really like um, I've personally been inside of the inner circle myself and been fortunate enough to be able to take on their guys and put them inside the close by to help with close by clients. And I really like the structure that you guys have um, in there with the um, group coaching calls and then the on demand portion, and everything that you've built out. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys also sometimes like run mock calls and things of that nature, which is very similar to what me and Alex actually used to do um, back in the day with plug and play closer. We would get on a batch of like three to four people, train them over a month's time. And then the majority of the training would come from the mock calls outside of like the recorded sales calls and a little bit of on demand training that we had. And then from there, help them get opportunities. You guys both got great socials and great networks. I see you guys cons consistently tossing opportunities in there um, for your individuals to get them on interviews, which is fantastic. I also have my own channel in there to be able to snag your people from and get them on offers. Definitely very mutual beneficial, but I love the structure that you guys got laid out. And so I've kind of seen inside your community um, and seen you closing and usually like making almost 1K plus maybe um, every other day at a time. And so do you have any advice for people who are looking to replicate that success? A hundred percent. First thing is that it's not going to happen overnight. And, and I think so many people are kind of sold, it can be sold dreams, like in this whole online money space, internet world. And it's not going to happen overnight. It's not a get rich quick scheme. But what I will tell you is if you can get around a community. So people that are involved, people that mm. are constantly doing this, um, because what that's going to do, it's not only going to fast track your success, you know, through the connections and the lesson that you've learned, but more than anything, you're going to see it's possible. You know, you're going to see people constantly winning every single day. And it's going to kind of subtly remove that self-doubt and you know, wondering whether or not you can actually have success in it, wonder if it's actually possible. So I would say one of the biggest things, and if you can afford it to put yourself in those people around those, um, those people who've had a lot of success in the game and just work extremely hard. You know, I think work ethic plays a huge role, especially in a, in a game like, like sales. If you have the roadmap and you know exactly what you're gonna do, which I, th I think we both give that away for free pretty much yeah. um, on socials, it's pretty much impossible for you to fail. So if you show up every day, you surround yourself with the right people and you work extremely hard, like there's, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to get there. It's very lucrative. 
God, awesome. I love that. And I also love how you have literally all the three steps that I talked about in one of my prior videos, the problem with high ticket closing slash remote closing. You have the free opportunity in the School of Hard Knocks, which you can be successful with that. I made a free guide. That link's going to be in the description. I've already had three plus testimonials, people telling me that they've explicitly been able to land offers from that, which he also has in his Discord. And then from there, there's a step up. The second opportunity I talk about is communities. That's going to be a lot more lower ticket, but much more value. You're going to be surrounded with people, like-minded individuals who are all trying to, or already successful in what you're explicitly trying to do. Then if you want to go stones throw up and actually shell out some money to get personalized experience and really, really kind of put some nitro um, into that, if you just watch it, just kind of zone and just go. Um, they also offer that as well. Um, and you're going to get a lot more personalized help and a lot more higher level um, learning tactics and just be able to subsidize your sales education much, much faster and make that transition. And so with that being said, it's a great time talking with you today, Trey. Love to know if there's anything, any advice for uh, people kind of getting in or any like things that you would want them to kind of stick with. And then from there, I'd love if you could just kind of give yourself a plug and tell these individuals where they can find you. Yeah. So advice is, is pretty similar uh, to, to replicating the, the success that we've had is just surround yourself with, with people doing it. Follow all of these guys on Twitter, Josh, Alex, uh, you know, all the guys, Closeify. Uh, you know, all the people who are absolutely crushing it in the space because they drop a lot of free value there as well. Join his community, join my free community uh, and just surround yourself with those people working extremely hard. And, you know, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to have success with this. Um, Got it. Yeah. Well, what's your community called? Remote Closer Mastery. Got it. I'm going to put all those links in the description and so that you can find all of us. If you already typed that in and are trying to find it right now, that sucks. The work is for nothing, but I'm going to put all those down there. And then you guys are going to be able to go through, get some more education, figure out if really this is a business model you want to do for yourself and be successful with and be able to fast track it if that's also what you're looking for. That being said, I had a great time talking with you today, Trey, and I hope everyone here, including yourself, has a great rest of your day. Peace. Peace.